Today, both Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas traveled to Mexico City to beg Mexico's president to do something, anything, to stop the massive flow of immigrants constantly traveling north through the country. Mexican President Manuel López Obrador predicted the failures of the Biden presidency from the very beginning. You may not remember this, but this is 2021. Obrador, this is Mexico's president, described just how migrants viewed President Biden. He said, quote, they see him as the migrant president, and so many feel they're going to reach the United States. And voila, they have in record numbers. He was right. And at today's meeting with Mexico's president, noticeably missing was Biden's border czar Kamala Harris. She's on a leisurely trip to California and won't return to the office until January 3rd. Here now with Reaction, former ICE director and Fox News contributor Tom Homan. He's an expert on all of this, along with Florida Congressman Byron Donalds, who has put forward legislation to stop what we're seeing at the southern border. You know, let me start with you, Congressman Donalds. I'm sick and tired of hearing people say Republicans do not have a plan. You passed H.R. 2. You did your job in the House. Let's scroll it for our viewers. Here are all of the things in H.R. 2 that Republicans have done, and you can read it as we go along. Security, fencing, 22,000 minimum border, border patrol agents, and much more. Congressman. Well, look, first of all, Kaylee, it's great to be with you. You're absolutely correct. House Republicans have a plan. We've had one for a very long time. I have a plan that adds to this. It creates a, actually an exit biometric system, something the 9-11 Commission recommended that we do post 9-11. The federal government still hasn't completed that work. But this is bigger than that. You have an administration, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and everybody else, they do not want to do the simple job of securing the border. And so now, when you have a massive catastrophe, with they, which they created. Now they're going down to Mexico to see what can be done. The answer is simple. To follow the House Republicans, H.R. 2, it's the plan. And let me be very clear, we've been telling this to the Democrats in the Senate and Joe Biden, don't even talk to us about Ukraine until the southern border is secured. Secure America first, then we can have conversations about everything else. But this must be done. It simply cannot wait. You know, Tom Homan, you and I both worked for a former president, President Trump, who got action from Mexico. He said, you're getting tariffs unless you secure the border. And the Mexican president did just that, since sent 6,000 troops there to the border. What do you think when you see a meeting that went on today and zero deliverables from Mexico to be announced? They don't need any more meetings. This meeting doesn't mean squat. And you're right. President Trump didn't go to Mexico and beg for help. He didn't go to Central America and beg for help. He didn't give them millions of dollars. This administration has given Mexico millions upon millions of dollars. They've given Central America millions of dollars. President Trump was a game changer. He didn't, he didn't give them a dime. Well, he told Mexico, you're going to put military in the southern border and northern border. You're going to participate and remain in the Mexico program. You're going to participate in the Third Safe Country Agreement. If you don't, I'll tear up the hell out of you. And they came to the table within days. Central America, he told them the same thing. I'm not going to pay to create opportunity zones down there because the money goes to the corrupt people and never gets where it needs to go. I tell them what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all international, inter international aid away. And they came to the table. And look, this, say, if this, if this administration is serious about securing the border, which they're not, they haven't done a single thing to slow the flow, it's easy. Dust off the Trump plans. We proved it work. It's not even a question. Will these policies work? We proved it work. Anybody go to CBP.gov and look at the numbers. The last two years under Trump, the most secure border in my career, three and a half decades. The, the data is clear. Illegal immigration at a 45-year low. We proved it worked. If they want to secure the border, they have the plan. Brush it off and put it in place. Amen. I couldn't say it any better myself. And, Congressman, that plan is embodied in H.R. 2. We know senators met today trying to craft a plan with foreign aid combined with immigration measures. What do you think is going to be acceptable to the House? Anything short of H.R. 2? Or you guys need H.R. 2 in there? 
what's acceptable to the House is H.R. 2. It's simple stuff. We know it works. What we're not going to do is negotiate against ourselves for some ham-handed deal that gets negotiated in the Senate. We have seen Senate negotiations occur in this country before. They basically are weak sauce, not worth the paper that they're printed on. The politicians in D.C. say, oh, this is great, look at what we did, America. And then the reality hits home that nothing really changed. H.R. 2 is the starting point. The senators can negotiate all they want, but nothing's moving through the House without H.R. 2. You know, Tom, and where does this end? You've got 15,000 migrants heading. You have this caravan. You have Chinese nationals. Is there going to ever be a wake-up call? I mean, even politics, Democrats have said, Biden, you need to do something. We showed you the CNN clip. First of all, let me foot stomp what the congressman just said. H.R. 2 needs to be passed fully, 100 percent of it, because it's a great plan, because it, it, it has a lot of the Trump policies in it. H.R. 2 fully or nothing, no deal. And I'm shocked that the Democrats are willing to let Ukraine and Israel suffer because they want an open border so badly. Look, these 15,000, they're going to be processed, they're going to be released in the United States. It's catch and release. And when, they see, when the cartels see thousands being released every day, that just gives them a selling point. We, they don't need a public affairs officer. They don't need a, a consultant to sell their services. The U.S. government's actions every day sells the services of the cartels because you cross the border illegally, you get released quickly, you get flown to the city of your choice on taxpayer dime. You'll get work, off, work authorization for the next five or seven years. You'll get in a hotel room. You get three squares a day and free medical. Why the hell wouldn't they come? Because we're not enforcing law on the border. Kamala Harris, she, she, she called her border czar all she wants. She hasn't done a damn thing. She, she says, I want to find the underlying, underlying reasons for this mass migration. She just simply needs to walk down the hall into the Oval Office, and she'll find the reason millions are coming across the border, because they were made promises by this administration. You know, and Congressman Donalds, where's the president? I mean, he's on vacation. He sends Antony Blinken off. He sends Mayorkas off. They do nothing. No deliverables. Zero. He's on vacation 40 percent of his presidency. I mean, Kaylee, let's, let's be honest. This man is the most unaccountable president in American history. You combine that with being the worst president in American history, the man is probably taking a nap as we speak. I know it's a little over 9 Eastern. He's already <laughs> gone to bed. We have a problem, America. Joe Biden is awful at this job. He is not a leader, and he is a radical being led by radicals in that administration. They all need to go. And for America, listen, mean tweets, no mean tweets. Let's get somebody back in the White House who knows how to do the job and execute and put our country first. That's President Trump. Well, I hope uh, President Biden enjoys that beachside vacation. Wow. Undeserved. Congressman Donalds, Tom Holman, thank you.